What's going on here? You alright? Where are you guys up to? So where are you guys up to? Huh? Stopping vehicles? Oh, what kind of vehicles? Who's? People in general. No, no. Oh. Oh, him. Yeah, people in general. Oh, right. Okay. 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 Oh, did you guys like ambush him or something? Hmm? Did you guys ambush him or something? Ambush him? Yeah. yeah. No, no. Well, no, I mean, there's quite... Huh? Ambush. Yeah, there's quite a few police cars. She said somebody reported that his man was driving. So I just wondered. Oh boy, he's in trouble. He's probably got money in there as well. Sorry? What do you mean? Nothing. Say that again? Oh, well, no, just, just checking. I was just asking. The police officer, she said, are you okay? So I said, yeah. And I just carried on asking. I was wondering, uh, she said, uh, are you talking or you just changed your mind? Oh, my, oh, oh, I'll just despair now that I Sorry? I just despair now, right? You're a spare? I despair. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This trip. It's a traffic officer. I ask you. Uh, as soon as you start talking to them, then you just don't want to know anymore. Yeah, we go a little bit closer. Da, 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 da. I see you guys got a lot of badges. Your chief commissioner recently got the sack for wearing uh, badges he shouldn't be wearing. How That's come right. you? Huh? That's right. Yeah. What's that one you got there? Yeah. You've got to be careful what kind of badge you're wearing nowadays. I think you need to show some respect. For? For the badge because it's in relation to a death of a colleague. So which one? I think you just need to wind your neck in. Which badge are we talking do about? Any, do you have anything that we can help you with today? No, 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 I'm just no. asking. Right. Well, Why are you being so I'm rude? I'm asking you to let us... No, you're being rude because you're putting a camera in our face. I didn't put it in your face. Your face is like two metres away. So you Not didn't roughly. just do that then? Hey, I didn't just do that, no. You just do that to my colleague. No, I just zoomed from here. 
Hey, can I remind you that Yashi, I was over there and he said, are you okay? Exactly. I asked if you were okay. I'm being Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and now I'm here and now you're, you're being rude. Asking us about badges, which is completely yeah, because your chief commissioner, your boss, got the sacks recently. That was him, not me. Yeah, because he's a bit of an idiot. Yeah. You were all working for an idiot. And now you guys got badges as well. Public, public knowledge. Sorry? That's public knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would have thought you guys learned to listen. You shouldn't be wearing badges that doesn't go with the uniform. But you obviously still do. But the badges of a dead colleague is not, is not considered Who's acceptable. Who's What badges? Which badge is that? You're the one asking about the badges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, I don't, which badge? I was asking him about that, the one with the wings. The driving uh, badge, all. Oh, right, it's not military or anything like that. No. Driving badge? Is that with the, does it, part of the uniform? Pardon? Is it part of the oh, uniform? Right. What did he just say? You go in different stations. So hey, why is she so rude? Pardon? Why is she so rude? Sir? It, it worked with her. Pardon? It worked with her, didn't it? Really? It kind of did. She kind of, respect about what? Pardon? Respect. So, what do you mean? Pardon? Respect who? Why do you think he, why do you think I should respect you? Pardon? Why do you? But I, I am being respectful. Do you think I was disrespectful? So you're the one that's disrespectful. Now why do you think I should respect you? You guys are weird. Listen, I don't get paid to respect you, man. Seriously, I don't have to respect you. Say that again. Well, I just don't speak back. You just don't have to be rude, though. So yeah, if, uh, if some of you don't know what I was talking about, the police commissioner of uh, Northampton, sure, shall I say, got sacked recently for wearing military badges that he shouldn't be wearing. I'll be totally honest with you, I've been in the police service now for 23 years, just coming up to 23 years. And prior to that, I was a senior leader within the Royal Navy. That was a blatant so lie. Nick Adderley was never a senior leader in the Navy. The truth was he was an able seaman, the lowest rank. And he left after two years, not ten years as he claimed. This is a fantastic evening where we, we recognise the bravery of officers. And he wore a Falklands War Medal, claiming to have served in that campaign. But he couldn't have. He was 15 at the time. Yeah, also tell them he asked us to remove the badges that we are wearing. Yeah, especially that uh, thin blue line flag. That's disrespectful to the British flag, by the way, if you want to talk respect. Yeah, disrespectful. If you want to speak about respect, maybe you should wear the proper British flag. Respect. You want to continue speaking about respect or not? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, they can do. Uh, respect. Look at that. He, he's got like a few badges and all. Oh man, you're so boring. Boring? I'm not your mate, first of all. Yeah, you call me sir, not you mate. Go away. You go away, idiot. 
you heard me, idiot. You want me to repeat it again and again? You're an idiot. Yeah, take your hands out of your pocket. Yeah, take your hands out of your pocket, yes. And why is that car, why is that engine running? You, are, you, you caused all this aggravation, aggravating the situation. What, because I asked if you were okay? No, you're just being disrespectful. You want to speak respect? In any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Show some respect, she says. I was very respectful. All you had to do is act a little bit professional, that's it. No, you're not. No, you're not at all. I mean, you got something better to get. I can see it all day if I wanted to. That's what football is doing. You're boring, man. <laughs> what are they gonna do to him? Are you in trouble? I don't know where he's done this guy. Oh. 
Well, I guess we will never know what's happened. What's going on here? Hey, what's happening here, guys? Hmm? What's happening here? That's interesting. We're just doing South and South Plate or North Hans Place. We're just doing some vehicle checks in here. It's even though it's Fs. Vehicle checks? Know. Vehicle checks. Not oh, vehicle right. Checks. Not vehicle we're checks, but checking just to make sure they're locked. people not to leave laptops and phones in the cars. Because ah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming along. Like people them. leaving things in there. Yeah. yeah, I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's yeah, good. That's what, that's what I usually do them in the police stations yeah. instead. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's, cool, all cool. that's all we do. That's all. Oh, that's cool, cool, cool. Oh, hello, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just uh, getting curious, wondering what you guys are doing. That's all. Oh, we're in. Your um, colleague said uh, you're checking cars and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Usually I do the same, but around police stations. I do. Yeah, yeah. Well, are you guys cadets? Yeah. You seem very young. Well, that's because I... You future police officers? Are uh, they... No, they're, so they're, they're young people. Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, you're a sergeant? Hi. Yeah, hi. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I'm one of, obviously one of our unit commanders in yeah, yeah. that place that run the CADET yeah. program, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is obviously designed for young people aged 13 to 18 right. to join and get an insight. And we're the only tri service emergency CADET program in the country. Right. So we have, obviously, it's a 38 week timetable for them that runs along school, school time. Right. Uh, and they get a chance to go through all three emergency services to see whether that's for them or not. And tonight we've done a, come out and done a bit of community. So, so you're not future police officers or anything no, like that? No, they're, they're young people who are obviously involved in the cadet program, a bit like the Army or Navy cadets. Oh, OK, cool, cool, um, cool. It's a, another cadet youth organisation. Right. Uh, we offer them the ability to learn about the emergency services. So they can I see, aid yeah. their decision as to whether it's the service they want to go into or not in the future. I see. So, so they're just from uh, just regular schools? In... Yeah, so they have to apply. They have yeah. to apply to join the cadet program. You're keeping, you're keeping them late, it's a bit late. <laughs> no, we would normally be out until... Yeah. And until today they've been, what, just so looking around? So because it's holiday, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, haven't, um, we, we haven't met as a unit, so I've brought some of them out and about to do some community engagement stuff. They're just looking around cars if... Well, as you, do you live locally? Uh, ish. Okay. This so is Northamptonshire, I live in Oxfordshire. Uh, but uh, Oxfordshire is, the border. it's just around the corner, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. So we've had a spate of thefts and vehicles recently it's been all over the facebook yeah 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 yeah, yeah yeah of course uh, so part of the visit we've done tonight is to yeah. find out it is one of our local identical priorities yeah is to find out whether or not there are insecure vehicles in the area that might lead people to becoming a target and therefore a victim of crime. Oh, right. and yeah, therefore yeah. all the people that we've engaged tonight um across the two areas that we've been to this evening um and there's been a significant number of people yeah, yeah. who've just gone and left their car and left it insecure they do them, yeah which puts them at risk of becoming a victim of crime i don't want people to become a victim of crime i want people to true, just true, take true. that brain check and say oh crikey i've left my vehicle insecure i need to make sure that i lock it yeah yeah um and so yeah that's, sometimes that's me like i was telling out. i was saying to me sometimes i do that i go around police stations and they check uh, police cars and stuff. And sometimes I find like documents left over over there. So, uh, you know, obviously I make the police aware of all that and all that. But yeah, yeah. I just so wonder what you guys doing. are doing. Yeah. So that's a little bit about our cadet program. As that's well. pretty cool. Yeah. There's six units in the county and 300 cadets across the county. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, but they're all. Are they done now? They're getting home now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't keep uh, them out too late. Yeah, yeah, that's not what I was thinking. School, I thought not, you kept them, there, you kept them right as it is, I think. Are you, are you based in Northampton, Sergeant? Yes, uh, well, based locally. Cool, cool, cool. Well, thank you very much for explaining it. Thanks for being professional. Thank you, guys. Take care. Yeah, thank you, yeah? That's pretty cool. Very polite. Why is it when I do it, I get banged up?